we've been studying Antichrist. Now, uh, today uh, we will be discussing on some uh, related topics concerning the Antichrist. Uh, some of the um, issues that would be very interesting to all of us, especially those uh, pastors like you, need to understand all these issues um, for your church people. Uh, here, first question is this. Why were Antichrist pre-designed? This is uh, one of the major questions. You know, uh, in the Bible, we have discovered in many places uh, in which uh, Antichrist has been pre-designed by our God. That is uh, one of our questions. Why our God pre-designed uh, Antichrist in the church period? Other question is this. Why Antichrist instead of anti-Jesus, nor anti-Messiah. There, there are no terminologies like anti-Messiah, nor anti-Jesus. Only anti-Christ. Not only that, it's not a singular. It is a plural all the time. Anti-Christ. Many. Okay? That should be our concern today. Are you ready for that? Amen. Yeah? Now, how do we know, how do we know that is pre-designed? How do we know the Antichrist is pre-designed? And then we should be uh, sight, means we should cite, we should remark the Bible references as a pastor. Okay, then how do we know the Antichrist, singular, not singular, plural, pre-designed? Then we always say, Jesus says so. Here, in Jesus says so. He said. Then we will ask, AD 30, where he said, where? Where Jesus said, where in the Bible? Then your answer should be, in his, in AD 30, in his, the Olivet, Olivet discourse. Discourse means his preaching. Olivet, Mount Olive discourse. He said so. Okay? Then we would ask, give me specific Bible references on this. Then we would say, where? In Matthew 24, verses 4 and 5, and also verses 23 to 28. Okay? These two references regard to upcoming the Antichrist during the time of church period. Church period means what? Church period means it's the first coming to second coming. That's the church period. Also, we call it the end time. Bible said the end time, 
church period or the end time. We call this period first coming from first coming to second coming and we call the church it calls church period and end time. Okay? Don't forget these two terminologies. Now, Jesus said there will be many anti Christ appeared in the church period. Now, this Jesus' prophecy was reconfirmed. It's reconfirmed by whom? It reconfirmed by John. By John. When? AD? 85. Reconfirmed by John in 85. Where in the Bible? 1 John 2, 18. In 1 John chapter 2, 18. Are you with me? Well, he said this. 1 John, John said this. By the help of the Holy Spirit, where he, when he got inspired by the Holy Spirit, he said this. In the end time, many anti-Christ will come. 1 John 2, 18. Anti-Christ will come. Okay? Then, our question is this. I told you before, what do you mean by, what is the meaning of anti? What anti means? This is a, this is a Greek, Greek word. Anti. It's actually anti. Okay? Anti. In English is anti, but in Greek, calls anti. I've given you there are at least four meanings of anti. What is it? Number four is against. Against. You write down again. Write down again. Number two, in opposition. Three. In place of, and number four, false. Okay. See now, anti-Christ means it's against true Christ. True Christ. Our true Christ always has capital letter C. Okay, that's against true Christ. This false Christ, false Christ is not capital letter C, only small letter C. Write it down. Antichrist is a small letter, small a, and so this is small a and small c. But true Christ is a capital letter C, Christus, okay? So against the true Christ, anti means in opposition of, in opposition of true Christ and in place of true Christ and false true Christ, false Christ. So all these refer to anti. Okay, anti. You better uh, teach this, okay? Now, now this, our question this. Why our God pre designed? 
the Antichrist. Not only many, many Antichrists. Why our God predesigned? That's our question. Then, answer is this. In order to train and teach, in order to train and teach God's people, God's people. In order to train and teach God's people. Okay. In his teaching method. What method? What method? In his training, what method? I have given you previously. Method is dysfunctional. Remember that? Here, dysfunctional, counter what? Horse. Dysfunctional, counter horse. Opposite, opposite Christ. Okay, false Christ, out of the opposite Christ, bad Christ, okay, untrue Christ. God's people will, will find out true Christ. Okay, he allowing, God allowing bad Christ, false Christ, Okay, opposing Christ and and suffered and suffered, okay, suffered by all these bad Christ and confused by these bad Christ. Then they will they will they will be seeking seeking for true Christ, uh, true Christ. I have given you examples, you know, I have given you examples previously that put down the is air. Okay? You write down the air. Out of the bad air, we will we will be seeking for good air. The air should be polluted. Okay. Out of the air pollution, we will seek for clean air. We will have mask on and we will be going up to the clean area, mountains and riverside and ocean side, looking for clean air. Otherwise, you will not value much the pure air. You will not appreciate much the pure air. So in order to teach God's people pure air for their appreciation, he allowed a pre-designed bad air Okay, around them so that they will look for, they will be anxious to look for the clean, pure air. That, that is what I call that dysfunctional counter horse method, allowing bad guy around, okay, for us to learn how valuable the true. Christ would be. Okay. So now, there are many areas 
for what purpose, what reason uh, God prepared, pre-designed this educational system, an educational method to teach God's people. So I have, I have picked up, I've been pick up some of the issues here to teach, to teach what is the purpose of creation to teach what is the purpose of creation that's the first objective okay to God's children then to teach to teach how important How important purpose of creation to teach how important the purpose of creation and also to teach who is who is Christian God to teach them who is Christian God. Okay. And also to teach them what is Trinity God. To teach them what is Trinity God? Okay, and also to teach them who Jesus is, who Jesus is. Okay, you see. Out of Trinity God, Jesus God came to this world. So, Jesus is a true God and he came to this world. Therefore, Jesus is 100% God, also 100% human. To teach them the identity of Jesus. The false Christ appeared. Then also to teach them who is the God's children. Who are they? Okay. To teach them what is the identity of God's children. And also to teach them what is the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Okay. It is the king, see, kingdom of God is this. Remember? Yeah. So you write down. To teach them, kingdom of God is this. This is above world, above world, and above world. And this is this world. It's a 7,000 years. This world. To teach them the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God involves above world, this world, and 
above world. That's the kingdom of God. Now, next is to teach them what is this world. This, what is this world? Now, also to teach them who are them? God's children, right? Okay, to teach God's children, okay, what is this world? Also, to teach them this world. Is purpose of creation school. Purpose of creation school. This wall to teach them. Got it? And also to teach them Jesus is. The principal of the school, of the school. Jesus is the principal of the school. Now, to teach them, next is, Satan is the vice principal. Of the school. Not only that, to teach them Satan's children, Satan's children, okay, and devils and demons. Satan children, Satan children, devils and demons are bad teachers in this school. Bad teachers. Jesus allowed them like that. Now, and also, one more. To teach them God's children, God's children are student in this school. We are students in this school. Therefore, To teach them God's, we are, we, God's children, God's children, we are, we are aliens. Aliens means a foreigner. We are aliens, foreigners in this world, in this world. We are you are, we are foreigners in this world, aliens, foreigners. Uh, we are temporal visitors in this world. We are pilgrims in this world. And 15, to learn. To learn the and to be trained the purpose of creation. Purpose of creation. Okay, so therefore we are aliens, temporal visitors, and pilgrims, okay. In this world, to learn and to be trained the 
purpose of creation. After that, what happened? After that, after we dead, after our death, we will go back to, back to our home. Above world. That, I would say, graduation. After we finished our school education in this world, then we will go back to our original home. So we are sent, we are sent by God for this purpose, for training the purpose of creation in this world. So in this world is the purpose of creation school for God's Children. Okay. Temporarily. At most, we can stay in this world for 100 years. At most. Then we will be back to our hometown. Okay. So, in order to teach in order to teach this to God's children, he, God, allowed false Christ, anti-Christ, to learn more, more precisely, more accurately who true Christ is. So God adopted the teaching methods, what I call here dysfunctional counter horse method to teach God's children the purpose of creation. Because Jesus, who came to this world to teach the purpose of creation to his people, therefore, we appreciate Jesus so much because the 100% God came down to this world, okay, with 100% humanity. What a sacrifice to teach us that purpose of creation. So, here, why were Antichrist? Pre-designed. Can you answer to that question? You better be ready for these teachings. Amen? Because that is one of the major questions in your people's mind. So you as a pastor be able to answer clearly Okay, very clearly uh, on these issues. Are you ready for that? Thank you. I will continue next lecture. May God bless you. Amen. <laughs>